In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create and send an invoice on WISE. First, we'll get started by opening your preferred web browser. This could be Chrome, Safari, Firefox, or any other browser you have installed. Once your browser is open, navigate to the search bar, usually found at the top of your screen. You'll want to type in WISE and press Enter to initiate your search. It only takes a moment, and from the search results that appear, look for the first link or the one with the URL wise.com. That's the official site we want to use. After clicking on the WISE link, you'll find yourself on their homepage. Here, you'll notice a Login button, typically found towards the top right corner of the page. Go ahead and click on that. It's time to enter your credentials. This is where you'll type in your registered email and password associated with your WISE account. Be sure to double check that your details are correct before proceeding to log in and access your account. Now that you're logged in, you'll be taken to your personal WISE account homepage. Here, you'll see various options laid out for you. We're interested in creating an invoice, so we need to direct our attention to the Payments or Request button. Clicking on either of these should reveal more options, including invoices. You'll then want to select New Invoice to get started on crafting your payment request. The system will guide you to the Request a Payment page where you'll want to click on the Start button to initiate your new invoice process. This is where the crucial part begins, selecting the person you're sending this invoice to. You'll need to choose the contact from your WISE list of contacts whom you want to request payment from. If the contact isn't already saved, you may need to add them beforehand. Next up is filling in the financial details. Here, you're required to input the amount you're requesting, which is straightforward. Take care to enter the correct numerical value. Then, there's the option to choose the currency in which you want to receive the payment. WISE allows for various currencies, which can be especially useful if you're dealing with international transactions. Don't forget to add a personal note or a brief description about the invoice. This can help clarify what the payment is for, particularly if it's tied to a specific project or service. Once all this information is properly filled out, it's time to finalize the process. To do this, click on Send Request. This button submits your invoice, and the recipient will be notified about the payment you're requesting. And there you have it. Your invoice is now sent via WISE, efficiently and securely. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this walkthrough helpful.